Now, NAT refers to IPv4 addresses in four different ways. We have the inside local address, the inside global address, the outside local address, and the outside global address. Now, these four terms are a great cause of confusion amongst learners. It's difficult to understand these. And if at this point in your career you're still not comfortable with these terms, hopefully by the time you've finished here, you will understand them better and you will have a visualization as to what they represent. Let's start off with our inside local address. It says here the IP address assigned to a device on the internal network. Here's a device on our internal network. Its IP address is 172.16.1.10. That's the inside local address. That is the source address of the packet. Now, is this always a private IP address? The majority of time, it will be. Let's make that clear. The majority of time, the inside local address will be a private address. But if you look at the definition up here, it does not say the private IP address assigned to a device. No, because NAT does not discriminate between private and public. You can translate from private to public, public to private, public to public, private to private. You have all of those different options. Therefore, this inside local address could be a public address or a private address. It really depends on what you are translating. So, but, so inside local is simply referring to the IP address of the device inside the network. The outside local address is referring to the IP address of the destination device as it appears to the device inside our local network. So, for example, if you were trying to reach Cisco.com, this would be the IP address of Cisco.com that was returned to this device by DNS. So it's how that outside device appears to our internal PC. Now, is this the true IP address of the server at Cisco.com? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It could be the IP address of a, a load balancing device, whereby you connect to that load balancing device, and then it sends you inside the network to the server that is the least busiest. So you're not truly uh, receiving the, uh, or you don't, you're not, you don't truly know that particular IP address, but it's how it appears to you. And that's all that really matters. That's where I, what I'm trying to reach. The inside global address is what this address is being translated to. So it's how this device appears to the outside world. Let me repeat that. It's how this device appears to the outside world. And it appears this way as the inside global address because the router translates the inside local address to that inside global address. So typically, but not always, but typically, that is your private to public translation that is happening. Your private to public translation. So the inside local is typically private, the outside global is your public address. However, as I said before, you can translate public to public, private to private, private to public, public to private. You have those different options. That's okay. That's your choice. But usually in a single-homed 
internet connection, you're typically translating private to public, as we're explaining here. And then lastly, we have this outside global address. That is the IP address that has been assigned to the public resource, the server, as an example, out on the internet. Now again, that might not be the device's true public IP address. And the reason why is because you might be connecting to a load balancing server instead. You might be connecting to a router that then performs network address translation as well at the other end. But it's how it appears. And typically, typically, unless modified or some other type of translation is happening, the outside local address and the outside global address are going to be the same. Because if I'm trying to reach www.cisco.com, my PC is going to send the packet to www.cisco.com, and therefore, that's going to be the outside global address as well. It's going to be the same. So typically, it's the same, unless some type of translation is happening somewhere else, and we are learning about the address differently inside our network, or potentially there's a different address um, on the outside network for it. We can verify translations that are occurring by looking at the output of show IP NAT translations. And if we look here, we can see our inside local address. Now, let's be reminded about that inside local address and where it is. It's right here. In this case, it is a private IP address, and it's 172.16.1.10. Now, it's being translated to what? It's being translated to an inside global address that we see here. So the translation is going from 172.16.1.10 being translated to 209.165.201.5. So this is the public IP address that our ISP is telling us that we can use. And as a result, we've done a translation here for this particular client inside of our network. Now, notice the outside local, the outside local, and the outside global are the exact same in this case. So whoever happens to own this particular public IP address, it's appearing the same way inside our network as it does outside of our network. So hopefully this has cleared up these four different IP addressing types for network address translation, inside local, outside local, inside global, outside global. If it hasn't, just review this a few more times and hopefully it'll start to sink in for you.